How to sample wood chips properly Wood chips are a non-homogeneous product, and their energy value in the same batch due to the sampling procedure alone may differ by up to 30%. The sample must therefore reflect the quality of the entire delivered batch of wood chips. The buyer of wood chips is responsible for sampling, ordering laboratory testing for the main sample, and submitting a report on biomass quality indicators. However, both the buyers and the seller's representatives must be present during sampling to confirm the sample's formation. To determine moisture content, a sample must be taken from each delivered vehicle and, to determine calorific value and ash content, a combined sample may be prepared. Samples from an unloaded pile of wood chips must be taken from at least 10 different locations and depths, in accordance with the pyramid principle. 1 plus 4 plus 5. For instance, one sample is taken from the upper layer of the pile, four samples are taken from the middle layer, and five samples are taken from the bottom layer of the pile. A sample weighing up to 4 kilograms must be taken. To increase the representativeness of your sample, it may be taken from more than 10 locations of a pile. All the samples must be properly mixed. In the presence of representatives of the buyer and the seller, the sample is divided into four equal parts, of which one main sample is headed to the buyer and the second reserve sample is headed to the seller. At a party's request, other additional samples may be used for storage or other testing. All samples must be placed in bags intended for samples. The buyer may choose to store additional samples at its facilities or hand them to the seller for storage. Sampling bags are the most convenient and cheapest storage containers. They are hermetic and can be sealed only once. The seller must be ready to provide its sampling bag, if the buyer so requests. Hermetic containers or other items may also be used. The buyer must ensure that the following information is recorded at the time of taking off the main and reserve samples. Date and sample numbers, seller, consignment note number, purpose of the samples, place of sampling, and surname of the responsible person who carried out sampling. Sampling can be confirmed in the following three ways. Signatures of the parties on a bag containing a sample. Signatures of the parties in a special register. By electronic means, whereby the required information and the code assigned to the sample are recorded on the containers with samples taken by the buyer automatically. The main sample may be tested either in an accredited or non-accredited laboratory, while the reserve and additional samples must be tested only in an accredited laboratory. The buyer must provide data of the tested sample quality report to the seller via the electronic trading system within seven business days from the end of the delivery week. If the seller, after evaluating the results of the sample quality report, does not agree with them, the seller has the right to reject the report within eight business days from the end of the delivery week and carry out testing of the reserve sample. If the seller does not reject the report within the set time limit, it is deemed that the seller agrees with the provided biomass quality indicators. If the results of testing of the main sample and the reserve sample do not coincide, priority is given to the sample that was tested in an accredited laboratory an additional sample may also be used. If both samples were tested in an accredited laboratory, the arithmetic mean is calculated. Sampling results must be approved by both parties. The following are the most common errors during sampling which must be avoided. Never judge about the quality of wood chips based on their appearance, odour or colour alone. Never take samples from a single location or depth of a pile only, or directly from a vehicle. Do not take samples by means of tools not compliant with the set of standards. If a sealed container with a sample is damaged, do not form a new combined sample in the absence of the other party's representative. Do not deliver samples to an accredited laboratory in non-hermetic or unsealed containers. If you follow these simple steps, you will ensure that samples intended for quality testing will be representative and that the testing results will reflect the quality of the wood chips batch and will be valid in legal terms.